swinging some boulders and some, some bigger material onto the front here. This is the stuff I ripped uh, last week. I was able to rip quite a bit more. I should be able to continue ripping further up. So I think I'm gonna grab my ripper after I'm done moving this material. Um, I love ripping, it's kind of one of my favorite things to do other than grubbing. The ripping is so fun. It's kind of addicting actually. You want to keep ripping and ripping and you just don't want to stop. If you haven't used the ripper, I, I suspect most of you guys haven't. Um, because you need to be in an area with a lot of rock if you're going to even consider using a ripper. It is fun, man. Some big chunks here.
can do it to separate material. You know, it's it's a good way to separate the big chunky stuff from the, the fines. But right now I'm doing it just to break up the rock. And I'll do it again when I toss it down the, the slope. And it, it helps. So moving this a couple times is actually a good thing. If I had a dozer in here just pushing it, it won't break it up like this. And you may have some issues. If you got a big dozer, you probably can crush it uh, when you track over the pad, but you have to have a really big dozer, like a D9 or a D10 to do stuff like that. So this is the technique if you're using excavators to pack big boulders and pads. If you're working here on the big island, that's, that's a good technique to use. Not a lot of guys do that, not a lot of guys know about it, or even think about it when they're moving material like this, but I do. Um, I'm always thinking like an engineer, and that's how you want to think if you're doing excavation work, because that's what you're doing, you're engineering the earth. You're pretty much a civil engineer uh, firsthand if you're running an excavator. And most guys don't think about it when they're doing it. They don't really even care what they're doing. They're just moving material. But that's not a good thing. You want operators that think like engineers. Because there's a specific process you got to do when building pads like this or you know, engineering your land.
a lot of it for where the house is going to go. Um, where it's not going, it's not as important, you know, where there's yard and stuff like that. Or um, the driveway is pretty important. But wherever there's concrete is pretty much where you want to focus on in compaction and making sure you don't have any voids or anything like that. With the yards and stuff, it's not as crucial. So for me, th this is going to be a lot of yard. And I want to focus where the house is. And there is going to be an area where the septic system's going, and that's that's not going to be a big deal. We're going to dig it up again, so probably go somewhere out here. done with this. I'm just going to finish this up and then start pushing the material out.